of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yes, guys, I went to the Caribbean as mentioned and I will be taking you on my journey today because you don't just get to the Caribbean by magic and you guys might as well know what I had to go through it has not been easy okay so I am flying from Ottawa International Airport actually as you have just seen it's called the McDonald Cartier International Airport I had to do like all other passengers before I could get to my beautiful island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines so I paid my dues I emptied my luggages I got my frisking done I did everything I was supposed to do and I must tell you that my flight to the Caribbean is five hours and you'll be joining me for those five hours just kidding <laughs> of course with the magic of cotton paste as well as fast forwarding i am able to bring you from ottawa to toronto to barbados then to saint vincent and the grenadines yes that's my journey today and guys i always stupidly pack too much the struggle was real airport life seriously i am so tired I, my flight is still late i'm looking at it right now and it's delayed so i have to be waiting here so <laughs> and it would be the five hours I just mentioned but <laughs> as you know with traveling guys the unexpected always happen and most of the times it happens to me this is going to be a long one to the Caribbean. So I finally boarded, oh my god guys, traveling in the Christmas season is definitely a hassle and it is, it is, oh it is painful when you're traveling long distances. But I finally made it on the plane and now I'm heading to Toronto which I would probably stay there for the next eight hours I think yeah I'm not kidding but here's some Caribbean music just to motivate you because soon you'll have some sun and some sand right <laughs>
actually it's crazy to travel sometimes oh so tired this is pit stop number one this is my outfit it's too big so when I travel I always like to take the every opportunity I get to just freshen up a bit make myself fresh so I feel good when I'm on the plane you can see the, the plane toilets oh. but anyways um, it took me some time so by the time I get down here to collect my luggages they were the only ones left <laughs> I couldn't believe it and yeah so here I was struggling to just get these two luggages onto my cart and guys it was a struggle because I have been up since about 5 a.m. and oh I was so tired really really struggling to get these and one of them was really heavy I recall having to pay over them and that man was there right there not even lifting a finger to help me I mean where is chivalry? Where? Where is chivalry? Seriously. But anyway, I was starving afterwards, so I went to Wendy's to grab a bite. And yeah. I do that I hate the stinky cheese and especially when you're traveling and having to sit next to others it's disgusting so I take out every single bit <laughs> been a long day so I'm still here my flight leaves at 8 30 so I should be in Barbados by 2 yeah about 1 32 o'clock so and there I have another layover of about four hours so I'll be in Barbados for four hours so We'll see how that goes. But it's definitely been a long day. It's just crazy. And I'm tired. So, but at least it's moving. It's now about 4.35. Not sure. It's about so. Yeah, we'll see. Gate 35 WestJet. Let's zoom in. That's my gate. So I'm gonna leave 
I am at Pearson International Airport. That's my flight to Barbados at 8.30 a.m. <clears throat> the airport is not too busy just yet, but I'm sure it will. Um, all around here you have lots of computer desk area internet little cafes yeah. <clears throat> and for those of you wondering yes there are direct flights to my country especially at Christmas time but I had a gas leak at my apartment and had to stay to deal with it.
face of the Bajan scene. I'm at the airport. As you see, I've just freshened up. So yeah, a little bit of Barbados. I'm gonna go check in now though. This is the Grantley Adams International Airport. And I've just found something interesting. When you come to Barbados and you wanna charge your phones, cameras, it's in the ground, on the floor, right there. <laughs> okay, I should go now. People are checking in. We just landed at Arakal International Airport. The local time is now 35 minutes past 8. In an interest of safety, please remain seated, which is seatbelt securely fastened until the aircraft comes to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign has been turned off. When leaving the aircraft, remember to take with you all your travel documents and hand luggage. Take a moment to check the overhead compartments under the seat in front of you and the seat pockets or any items you may have stored there. Be careful when opening the overhead bins. Items could have become loose during flight and may fall out. Exercise caution as you make your way down the stairs. Hold on to the handrails and watch your step. Our liaison service 769 terminates here in St. Vincent. On behalf of the person flight crew and the entire Liat family, I would like to say thank you ladies and gentlemen for flying with us today. It was indeed a pleasure. We appreciate your loyalty and support. I look forward to serving you again in the not too distant future. If you are returning home, a warm welcome back to you. If you are visiting St. Vincent, do enjoy your stay. Goodbye ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your evening and thank you for flying with Lias, the Caribbean Airline. A gentle reminder to remain seated, keeping the aisles and exits clear of all hand luggage and personal belongings until the seatbelt sign located on the panel above your head has been switched off. Goodbye and a Merry Christmas to all of you and many blessings in the new year. Thank you. Thank you. Happened to me last time. I don't know, I think somebody should be here for me. Thank you. Yes, it's so fast. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, honey. What's up? Where's everybody? Cause are uh, your babies, so I totally understand. Yeah. So nothing else coming from Barbados tonight. So the guys are like screwed. They're like Leah. Well, they 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 didn't get all their luggage. I know. Me too. I have no problem this morning. But they got enough. This is one Christmas we come, I mean, I have to make a second trip at airport to get me luggage. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> one time we get my luggage a month after, you know. I'm going back up because they send me, they send me back to Miami. <laughs> I see. You know, I went to Miami. Uh, for I, so we didn't put my bag on the flight. So this is my beautiful island of St. Vincent. That's a tourist ship as you must have assumed. Dark there because we are a tourist destination. And I didn't see my mom that night. I saw her the next day. And guys, as you guys know, I came home to look after my mom. It's not a holiday holiday. So these are some of the moments I had with my mom briefly. Yeah, we we went to therapy and oh my god, I fed her a lot every day actually. <laughs> I dress her up. I really miss my mom. And of course, I shot some beautiful lookbooks and got some treasures for you guys. <laughs>